everybody. It's Optimus 1971, and I'm here with Kid of Optimus 1971. And uh, we yeah, tonight we that's, <laughs> that's you. Yeah. And tonight we're going to play with Kerbal Space Program. It's the demo. It's not the full version. And uh, I was playing with it here a while back. And, and Kid I'm wants... gonna make this ship with yep. wings. She's... And my dad's gonna fly it. That's right. She said she wants to build one, and then she's going to let Daddy try to fly it. Yeah, so we can check it out. All right. Start new. Ow, wait. Uh oh. Looks like I can't rename it or anything since it is a demo, and it is in sandbox mode. Are you making a video? That's Dad? fine. Yep, we're recording a video. All right here's our vehicle assembly, so we're going to start by going there, and it brings up the inside of the hangar. And now I have it. All right. I put it right there. Dad, which one is with the parachute? It might be this last one over there, right there. Yep, I think that. Yep, right there it is. Where is it? That's there? the parachute right there. Put that on top. There you go. We got the parachute. That's yep. That. It's a landing strut. I don't think we're going to need that. Uh, okay. What are those? Oh, it says Pegasus 1 Mobility Enhancer. What's that? I don't know. I've not played with it. Nothing's in that one. Nope, keep going to the left. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Well, if we... Oh, that one just... If not really taught her much about the different stages. So right now, if we can just get something up in the air. Oh, you're going to put two tanks on there, are you? Three, Three tanks? You're really going to... You really hope I can fly this, huh? I wouldn't put any more on there. That's a fuel tank. We don't want that one either. Nope. You need to put the engine on. One of these here is, is your engines. Is that the right one? That we I think need? these are all liquid fuel engines, so I think every one will work. We'll find out when we actually get out to the launch pad, won't we? Hold on. You can put on the wings for me while I go potty, okay, Dad? We'll wait till she comes back. We'll just take a look around the hangar and see what uh, all the little Kerbal guys are doing. And carrying their little clipboards. What are they working on over there? Oh, I thought he was spanking him there for a second. No, he's just got a wrench. I don't know what the poor guy's working on. Well, that was a bit of magic. He walked right through him. Did you wash your hands? What, Alora? Of what? A toilet paper. Oh no! I might still use <laughs> Well, that guy's in a big hurry. Let's let's follow him. See where he goes. Oh, there goes another one. Something important must be going on over there. Hmm. Apparently they just all stopped running and well he's got a drill. I don't know if you can hear Laura, but she's giving us a play-by-play -play as she goes to the bathroom. Uh, let's see if we got somewhere. Oh, look at that. More runners. 
I don't know who these guys are uh, signaling, but nobody's coming for a landing. I'm back. Did you wash your hands? No. Go wash your hands. All right, all right. Hop I back up. My hands are a little wet. Yeah. Oh, well, don't get the keyboard and mouse all wet. Okay, we're back. Yeah. This what? right there is where all your wings are. It's right there. There you go. What is that? That's a nose cone. I don't know if that helps for going up or what you put on the top of the rocket as well. Mix it. Probably more fuel efficient. How do you turn around? Oh, do you want to turn it so you can see the other side? Yeah. Um, what you do is hold down the right mouse button and then move. There you go. You're going to put some more on, are you? Or are you going to put four all the way around it? Actually, I'm only going to... Just the three? three. Alright. I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay. And get that one. Okay. And we're going to try to fly that. Okay, we'll go to the launch pad. We're there. At the launch. Alright, hold down the shift and that'll throttle up. No, we got to hold down the How shift. How do you get inside? Um, actually getting inside is easy. It's getting back out I can never remember. Yeah, that was easy enough. See, for camera, that'd be kind of crazy. Okay, we've got three wings with uh, three fuel tanks on an engine. We do have a parachute, so at least we can float back down. Um, we do not have a way to separate the uh, the fuel tanks. Hey, yep, hold down the shift. That'll take our throttle up. Well, it normally would. There we go. Now our throttle's going up. All right, baby cakes. Launch us. Uh-oh. My parachute came out. This is going to be a disaster. Let's, uh, let's just throttle down before we actually hit. Come on. No. And boom, 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 boom. Woo. Jebediah's lived. Jebediah lived, look. But he was scared. Oh yeah, he was plenty scared. Mm. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. We better end that flight. Yeah, we didn't do so good on that one. So, let's head back into the vehicle assembly plant. Me, me, me. Hold, I hold on. Did. did I do a very bad job? Uh, I, I don't, okay, there. I switched it so it should do the fuel tanks first once the fuel tanks run out when we hit the next part of the staging I think that's what will do that you want to take us back out there now take us back out to the launch pad we'll try it again yeah all right that was we just want to get into outer space right is that our goal mm -hmm. It'd be nice if we can get to do an orbit okay take the fuel up or the throttle wait till it's all the way up and hit the space bar. 
Well, it did it again. Is it gonna come down too fast? Is it gonna come down too fast? No! Woo! Jebed I lived. Hmm. What's a decoupler? Decoupler is when the rocket goes up and when it runs out of fuel, you can decouple or separate these two pieces. So the this the engine, the fuel tanks and engine will fall away from the actual capsule. But over here on the side I see that it's got them all listed under zero stage. I think that's what that is. And the decoupler will let go too? Yeah, the, I don't know if the decoupler stays or not. We'll take a look at that. It may just take off with it. Uh oh! That did not work like it was supposed to. The decoupler went off and that was it. There! That ends another zero flight. Zero stage. Should be launch. So okay, there we added a first stage. I see because it was putting them all in one stage. So zero should go first. Where? Is that the? I'm not sure what that set means. Let's take it. This should be the zero stage. This should go first. I'm not sure what that is. Is that the separation? Because it's highlighting everything. And then we've got this Maybe engine. it's that, that decoupler. No. Clear the launch pad and proceed. Let's see what happens here. All right, there it goes. I'm gonna launch. No. Nope. Oh, you hit the map. Stop. 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 Obviously, that's not what we wanted either. In right, flight. In flight. those two. Let's see what that does. And we're just gonna keep it untitled spacecraft. This is called trial and error. All right. You gonna launch us? Go ahead and launch us. There goes the decoupler. Oh, oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. How can we launch into space? I don't know. Do we have that in the wrong order? Should we have zero go first? Or is it the latest one? I want that. I want the engine. And then that should decouple all of that. And then our parachute is a different stage. Am I getting closer? Are we getting closer? We're going to find out. Head back out to the launch pad. Get it all throttled up. And Laura's going to launch us. There goes our decoupler. I don't know what we're doing wrong. It keeps hopping off. And off and off. Yeah, it keeps open. Hmm. Well, let's try this real quick. There's that. There's that. Do the smallest. This one? Yeah. And that one says this is for liquid fuel. Whoops. Alright, we're just gonna call this one the dojo one. Oh. Let's use Roman numerals. Dojo I. And let's head out to the launch pad with this one. Yeah, we're gonna clear the launch pad. Because for some reason, we keep leaving them out there. All right, you're gonna do a countdown. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Well, there goes the engine. Well, at least 
He lived. Let's get him out and walk him. Let's see why is it doing that okay we're gonna go ahead and separate at a different stage I'm gonna drag that down to the stage one so to me it should run that and then once I hit the next stage just do that because before it's just doing them both at the same time so Can you please since we already you? crashed it oop, well, this is be the dojo too let me go out and launch can you be an inside and hit the space no. thing? I, I can't. I don't think I can fly it from the inside. Ready? Gonna count down? Three, two, one. Launch. I really. Aha! Uh -huh. Getting closer here. Oh, there goes my tank. <laughs> or, sorry, my engine. No! No! Ugh. At least we didn't lose Jebediah, huh? He was freaked out. Yeah, I would be too. So is it the highest number for the stage? Let's find out. Pretty soon it's going to start looking like a Rocky movie just for this one. All right, we're heading back out to the launch pad. Is this the last time we're doing the launch pad? Are we going to go up this time? Let go of that. Three, two, one. Yay! We're in the air. Yeah. I forgot my decoupler, though. <laughs> I should have left that on there. I see we're starting to spin just a little bit. Not spin, but lean. Alright. Yeah, well, we've hit six thousand meters. Here, stay up there. Stay up there. We hit 12,000 meters. I'd say we're doing pretty good. I don't know how high up the stratosphere is supposed to be, but we're definitely in the dark territory, and the, the blue haze of the atmosphere is below us. Uh oh. All right. We're nope, nope. Don't hit anything yet. Press the letter M. That'll show us our orbital status. See, we obviously didn't get out very far. Ooh, that's how much. Yep, it's a Dojo 3. We have made it. And it's still showing our altitude. There's the 45. There's 46,000. So uh, we're guesstimating about 86,000 meters days. will be out. That's pretty good for our first flight. Is it still flying? Yep, we're still flying. It's If we go back... I don't have much control. I didn't put a decoupler on there, so but uh, it seems to have somewhat ability to uh, turn it. We don't have any fuel left. That's going to be hard. It's going to be a bumpy ride after we get back. I don't know if it's the tank and everything has still got enough fuel in it that it's going to blow on us or not. All right, push that button right there. That'll speed up the time for us. Uh-oh, so hold on. Let me throttle down. Okay, now press it. This one? Yep, press it once. Don't. Okay, do it again. Now we're doing warp 10, so let's go back to the map so that we can then... Let's see, let me just turn that. You can see we're in, so it looks like we're going to end up landing in the uh, in the ocean. We can actually, let's just speed that up again. We're, gonna, we're coming back down the atmosphere. Now, yeah, I said it there. I was thinking that that would auto-deploy. But you need to slow down. Let's just keep it going. Oh, 
Oh, we're not actually going to land in the ocean. No, we actually came back pretty darn close. There's 300 feet. And we could even run to that. Yeah, we could almost run there, couldn't we? Yeah. I don't know what it's going to do. We didn't Since we didn't decouple, I don't know if it's going to make a bumpy ride or not. Oh! It did. <laughs> can you please get them out now? Yep, yeah, we can. See that first one where it says EVA? Go ahead and click on that. Maybe Jebediah will think we're on another planet. All right, hit the space bar. And we'll tip that up. And now we can control him. I think he's... He walked away. Any crash you can walk away from is a good crash. You want to go back and try your rocket now? Yeah. Alright, let's end that flight. My rocket. We're going to go back and take a peek. See, I had the last stage. This is zero. So, now that we know roughly what it's doing. Now we can get to number one. Was that the one we were on? There we go. There's Alora's. Yeah? <laughs> How about we walk our guy? Can we walk him? Walk him. Stop. Walk your guy. No, we can't walk him in here. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one to actually launch. We will call this Alora. How about Aloria? Aloria. Aloria. That's your name of your spaceship. You want, what do you want to name it? We'll name it whatever you want to name it. Um. Rocket fast. Rocket fast. R O C K E T. Two words or one. Two. Rocket fast. One. Alrighty, let's see if we can take that out to the launch pad. Let's see if Daddy can keep this one up in the air. Okay, throttle up. Three, two, one. Launch. Yay! Uh oh, it's already, it's already tipping. No. Ah ah ah! What are you doing? Alarm! <laughs> Oh, let's! Oh, there goes their, uh, there goes your ship. Oh, it's still flying around. Guess we could throttle out. But, but no. Oh. See, that's why I put that out because I was so scared. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my daughter. All right, uh, we're going to call it end there for tonight as far as recording. I think we're going to keep playing, see if we can get better at building the ships. Um, that's where we're going to land. Yeah, we're going to land right back where you're supposed to. So let's just speed that up a little bit. And we'll call that one a successful launch. And we touched down. Woohoo! All right, can you say goodnight to everybody? Can you get the person out? Yep. Go ahead. Can you say goodnight to everybody? Goodnight, Abby. <laughs>